morning and welcome to Grace United Church and our worship today. For those of you who are joining us online, may you feel the, the spirit of God's love and the strength of gathered community. We don't have anyone in the pews today at church because today is our outdoor picnic, um, outdoor worship service followed by a potluck lunch. So if you are catching this service right at 1030, you might want to get some food together or just come on over to the church so that you can be part of the potluck lunch that we're going to have. Let us begin our worship with our call to gather. Let us give thanks to our creator, for the creator is always with us. God, God, is, God is with us, us in, the in the call of a balloon, balloon and, and in, in the flight of an eagle. eagle. Our creator is with us in the changing of the seasons. God, God is, is with, with us when, when we gather, gather together and, and when, when we are alone. Our creator is with us in our giftedness and in our search for new understandings of ourselves, new visions of our communities. Let, Let us, us give thanks, thanks to, God, to God, our creator. Today we acknowledge the traditional territory of the Ashninabak and Wata First Nation, as well as the traditional lands of the Three Fires Confederacy, the Ojibwe Adawa and the Potawatomi. We acknowledge that Simcoe Muskoka is the home of many First Nation, Métis and Inuit people who, got, who are part of an intricate nationhood across Turtle Island. At this time of reconciliation, this time of new understanding, may we walk together in love and hope and reconciliation. We light the candles of the four directions to remind us that we are part of a global family that gathers people from across the world we also light our Christ candle. A reminder to us that we are called to be light in God's world. Let us pray. Loving God, we gather in this place to share hope and love to be reminded of your love for us. Creator of forests and lakes, wetlands and wilderness, you make the stars in the sky and the dust of the earth. We ourselves are formed of these your wonders. Fill us with awe that this is so. Help our understanding as we worship together and listen for your word and spirit. Help us to remember and see your presence in us that we may be your presence in the world. Amen. God invites us. God calls us into worship and community together. God calls us for the sake of who we may yet be as we come together in fellowship on a journey of awe and in trust. God blesses and commissions us as we gather as church. Amen. Let's join together in singing, Give Me Oil in My Lamp.
scripture I'm reading comes from Luke chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. We're reading from the Ralph Milton Lectionary Story Bible. One day, Jesus and his friends got into a boat. Jesus wanted to sail across the Lake of Galilee to another country, a place called Gerasene. When Jesus stepped out of the boat, a man came running up to him. The man was jumping up and down and screaming. Jesus could see right away that the man was very sick. The man had no clothes on. His whole body was very dirty. The man ran right up to Jesus and yelled at him, Why did you come here, Jesus? You are God's child, right? Did you come here just to hurt me? Tell me your name, said Jesus. I don't have a name, the man screeched. I am full of bad spirits. I am full of things that make me yell and scream and run around with no clothes. Would you like those bad spirits to come out of you? The man started turning his head in strange ways. No, no, the spirits don't want to come out. They have no place to go. Jesus pointed to some pigs that were on a hill nearby. We could make the spirits go into those pigs, Jesus said. The man didn't seem able to talk. He made strange, gurgling noises. Jesus took the sick man's hand and looked into his eyes. Come out, you bad spirits, said Jesus. Come out of this man. Go into those pigs over there. Bit by bit, the man stopped making gurgling noises. He stopped yelling. He stopped jumping around. What is your name, Jesus asked again. My name is Ahaz, the man said quietly. And you felt as if you were full of bad things. You called them spirits. But now they are gone. He has smiled at Jesus. Thank you, he whispered. Good. Jesus smiled at Ahaz. Let's go down to the lake and you can wash in the nice cool water. We'll find you some food and something to drink and some clothes to put on. Then you won't feel as if you are full of bad spirits anymore. May the Spirit bless us with wisdom and wonder as we ponder the meaning of these words for our lives. Thanks be God. It's an interesting story that, um, that we hear in Scripture. It's so graphic that I can understand why Ralph De- Milton decided that that was a story that would, should go in a family Bible about a man who makes strange noises and, and seems so unhappy inside. And the story that is told in the Bible is that Jesus heals the man and he gives him new life. Well, sometimes we meet people who seem to be full of bad spirits. Sometimes we seem to be full of bad spirits. And sometimes when those things happen, we need to find healing. Now, perhaps we're not going to have a graphic story like a story of bad spirits being put into pigs. And perhaps Luke chuckled a little as he told that story that way. But I do think that sometimes we need to have someone who accompanies us. Last Sunday, Betty Lou, talking to us from Georgina Island, talked about her job being to accompany people in ministry and to be with them. We also heard the scripture about God being not in the wind and the fire, but in the still small voice. Think of a time when you have felt filled with bad spirits and the way in which perhaps you were able to let go of those and to feel healed by feeling the power perhaps of someone who accompanied you and made you feel better or helped you to deal with something you were struggling with. And then perhaps think about someone who maybe you could be accompanying. Someone who maybe is pushing you away because they are so unhappy. And is there a way that you can be as gentle as Jesus, as a, as a companion with that person, until they reach a point that they are ready to clothe themselves with new dignity, and ready to wash their face and take a new step in God's world. Think of this story 
And may it bless us on our journey. Amen. And let us pray. Loving God, we come to you as the one who always accompanies us on our journey. The one who reminds us that you are always there, offering healing and hope. You invite the weary to come to you, O God, to lay down burdens. Holy One, God of all people and places, we are reminded that in a world of plenty, there are many who are hungry, and in a world of abundance, many who are homeless, and in a world of power, many who are powerless. We see many places where there needs to be not only healing, but justice. Where there is pain of oppression and unfairness, may we be the ones that accompany, that walk with, that also share of our resources. God whose touch can restore and heal, our bodies testify to the decay of time and the burdens of imperfection and illness. But we take comfort in knowing that you walk with us through all those times, when we are healthy and when we are sick, when we are weary, when we are rested. God who knows each heart, we name silently before you the concerns and situations that weigh down our, our hearts and our minds. You invite the weary to come to you, O God. And so we give you thanks. Amen. Let us join together in singing our closing hymn. to God's world in peace. From this time of sacred rest, God invites us to go, refreshed and renewed, stronger and wiser. From this time of sacred rest, we go bearing a yoke that is easy, leaving behind burdens that belong to God. Go in peace. Amen. Amen.